You may have noticed that in some exterior renders there's a crowd walking with a motion blur effect that follows the movement of each individual person. It is not very convenient using Photoshop for this if we can easily do it by combining some tools in Corona. Let's see how it works. To show you the process, we'll use these 3D people models, which are proxies available in Cosmos. Let's start by creating multiple splines in this area, which allow us to scatter our models. Don't worry about being too precise, it is actually not necessary. In fact, have fun creating irregular paths. Now let's go through the next steps. I add a scatter to the scene and in the scatter settings under Distribute on Target Object I add the splines I just created and I make sure to select 1D on splines in the scattering drop down menu. This allows us to scatter model along splines. Then in Instance and Model Objects, I add all the 3D models of people I initially put in the scene. As you can see, we have now too much instances. So, let's fix the huge amount of proxies by reducing the number of instances by setting the spacing value in spline scattering to 150-200 cm so that we end up with around 40 scattered people. Now to check how the people are rotated, go to Display and Limits and under the Previz type select Full, so to see the entire mesh. Now we can see in the viewport how they are oriented and they are of course going in all different directions. This happens because by default, Scatter applies a random rotation between 0 and 360 degrees along the z-axis under rotation. And we need to reduce this range to make the 3D models following the paths, setting these values between minus 70 and minus 100 degrees. This way, all the people will be directed on the left side of the image more or less, as if they were going through this passage. I also recommend modifying the X and Y values on their translation to avoid to see the people too much in line. Now that the scatter is set up, we can animate our people. Unfortunately, Cal Scatter doesn't support motion blur for now, so we need a workaround to let things work. First, click on Convert to Max Geometry, so to take the models out of the scatter. This way we convert proxies into geometries, keeping instances and pivots in the right directions. Now the meshes are fully editable and animatable. Now select all the people and under Reference Coordinate System, I choose Local, which allows the 3D people to move along their own pivots. Now click on Auto to activate the key animation on the timeline. And I move the frame indicator to frame 5 for example. And shift the people forward by 1 meter along the Y axis. This creates a keyframe at the start and another at frame 5. Now disable Auto key and move to set up the camera for motion blur. Select the camera and under DOF and Motion Blur enable Geometry, so to simulate motion blur for all the geometries that are animated in the scene. Now move the frame indicator to a midpoint between the start and end keyframes at frame 3, for example. This ensures that we capture motion at the moment when the models are actually moving. And this is the final result. This way we can create a believable effect where the motion blur changes direction depending on how the models are moving in the space. 
I'm sure you've noticed that if you look closely at the rims of the car, they give the impression that they're not really spinning. And indeed, that's the case. Well, subscribe to the channel because next week I'll show you how to rig these wheels and achieve a completely photorealistic motion blur effect with the spinning wheels.